Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. It's Eric from the MMG. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your own dedicated DayZ server. We're going to be doing this on Windows and using Steam CMD. I start to show you how to make your config files customized by yourself. Later on I realize there's a lot to them and I actually will show you where you can download them from our website. So if that's frustration for you, keep watching. You're going to get to the part where you can actually go to our website, matureminedgamers.com and download the files yourself. Then you do have to customize them yourself a little bit though. So you, there is some legwork there, but I wanted to give you a heads up that I did realize that was kind of a pain point. The other thing I want to mention is firewalls, port forwarding, all that stuff can be very confusing and a lot of people get stuck on that. And I definitely recommend stop beating your head on the wall if you can't get it. If it doesn't work, you're going to get frustrated and you're just going to get mad. Do look at renting a server. This is something I've done myself in the past and I actually have a great partnership with Pine Hosting who actually sponsors this video. Check out their video here for a great place to rent your very own server. This video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. They have some incredible deals on servers. You can rent your own dedicated host. You can rent a single game server if you just want to keep it simple. Whatever you want. They're all high performance, super easy to use, and very affordable prices. They have global locations all over the world. Premium protection against DDoS attacks. Everything you could want is here. And it's all fantastically priced. If you look at the dedicated server host, maybe you want to change games every week with your crew. This allows you to do this. This is your very own dedicated server. You could pop Steam, CMD on it and switch out the game or whatever you want to do with it. You can switch out games every day. You can probably host multiple games on this with, with ease. So that's a great option. Then they also have these dedicated games. If you just want a Rust server, Pell World, Valheim, Ark, whatever you want, and Shrouded, they have it here at one simple low price. And this is going to make things really easy for you to host and share with your friends and just basically have fun and play the game you want and not worrying about hosting at your own home PC. We've all done it. We all run into issues. It can be frustrating. If, if you hit that brick wall and you, you're just stuck, Please stop banging your head on the wall. Just rent from Pine Hosting and make it easy. And to sweeten the deal, Pine Hosting has gave me a promotional co code. Just use MMG to validate that code. You're going to get 30% off your order. What a steal. The link for this will be in the video description. Check them out. All right, let's get back to installing Daisy. First thing we need to do is download Steam CMD. Just Google Steam CMD there, click on that top link. You're gonna see Windows, which is what we're installing on. Click on that, and then you'll see a one up there by download the installer. Click on that to download it. You'll have to extract it. It'll be a file that looks like this. I recommend putting it in its own folder. Location doesn't matter a ton. Put it on your desktop which is what I did here, and it should function fine for you. Uh, you can also put it directly in the C drive, or if you have a different drive, that would work too. So once, once you do, you're gonna run it, and it's gonna download and fill up your folder here. That's fine, it may take a few minutes. You're gonna finally get to a Steam prompt. This is where you need to log in, and like I said, you have to own this game. So normally you can just log in with Anonymous, but you can't do that with this game. You have to, you have to actually log in with the account that owns the game. So go ahead and enter your information. It'll be login space and then whatever your steam username is that has the account so say it's daddy one hit enter it's going to ask for your password you have to enter your password and then if you have two factor the next prompt will be for the two factor authentication code all right once you get logged in you should be back at the steam prompt now you just need to download the files onto your computer or your server whatever you're hosting on um, so you need to type in app underscore update space and then the ID number for the Daisy server which is two two three three five zero hit enter and this is going to actually put this in that folder where you put Steam CMD it's going to create all those files one of them is called Steam apps it's going to download that into the Steam apps folder so you do want to make sure wherever you made that original folder there's enough space for all this and we're good now we're we're good here to exit this so once you're back at the prompt just type in exit hit enter and you you know if you still have your folder up if not pull up your folder wherever you put the steam cmd folder and you want to go to steam apps common then you should have a daisy server folder right here so double click on that and there's the server these are all the files that we just downloaded first things first we're going to actually right click anywhere here we're going to go new and we're going to create a new text file text document now you want to make this a dot bat if you don't have file extensions on come up here to view then right here there should be a checkbox for file name extensions if you don't it'll look like this with no you can't tell what kind of file it is really 
you want to turn those on for this to make it easier. Now we want to rename this text file. Um, so I'm just going to put dz start, and we want to get rid of that dot text and put in a dot bat. Hit enter. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to change that file extension. Hit yes. This is what we're going to be used to start our server. So next step, this one we're going to copy because there's a lot here, and I mean a lot. So if you go to the, I'm going to just pull it up here for you. If you go to the community bistudio.com wiki for DayZ server configurations, I'll have this link here in the video description. This has what you need. So we're just going to copy and paste this in. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to actually open a new text doc. All right, we're going to name this config.cfg and hit enter. Yes, yes, that's fine. We know. Now we want to open this with the text editor open with more apps, do your notepad or whatever your favorite text editor is. It should bring you up. And now we're going to paste what we copied in here. And this is going to be where we set everything. So example name. Put in server name here will be the uh, MMG PVE server. Password, if you want to set a password, you can put it in here. Password admin, I'd set that for sure. Um, and then all these other settings are max players. You can go through here and look at all these settings and, and set them however you want. Or you just leave them at default. Well, most of them. Some things you have to put a setting in if there's not already. So there we go. So make sure you hit file save. Done. Close it. Now we're going to come down to the Daisy bat folder. So this one has a lot of text in it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy it. And this is based off the uh, GitHub. Somebody has been nice enough to make that for us. So we're going to come down here to, and I'll put the link in the video below. I'll show you what it looks like here real quick. GitHub file right here. We're going to copy this and use it so we don't have to make it ourselves basically. So that's the one I'm copying right in the middle. Like I said, I'll put a link in the video again. Get back to it. So we're going to put this in the daisy start.bat file that we made earlier. We're going to edit it. Same thing. You want to use text editor of some sort. We're going to paste it in. Set server name. Jim's Daisy. Jim, thank you for creating this file for us. But that is not who we are today. So PVE. That's a server name. Server location. So this one, we do need to change. So wherever you put your folder, wherever this folder right here is, right? You need to come up here, click up here, and it'll highlight the, the name. Right click, hit copy. Now we're going to go back to that file and we're going to actually paste it in over his location. So leave the uh, commas in here and just paste in your address right there. That's where I put mine. And so the set the BEC location, I don't think it's really used anymore. So we're actually just going to remove this. And there's actually a couple other things that call for um, the BEC.exe. This right here, start. We're going to remove that. And the location right here, you can remove that. You don't need those anymore, I don't think. Um, the mine is working fine without it. So, all right. And then other important things is your port. So set your port, whatever you want. You have to open that in your firewall and your router. If you don't know how to do that, it's it's not too hard typically, but every router is different, so I can't really show you. And I do have a video on how to do the Windows firewall, though. Also, if you're using an antivirus, sometimes they can have their own firewall, and you have to open it in that. There's just a bunch of get me's. Um, that's why it's really hard to show someone how to do it, because everybody's situation is completely different. But yeah, look on my channel for how to open a Windows firewall. I have uh, a video dedicated to that, which will show you how to do that. And then you just Google your router. Whatever router you have, it probably has a firewall on it as well. You'll have to open, the, open or forward the ports to your server okay so once you have your port set your server config now this is the file that we created and we renamed it so there is a default one right here that is called this but we went with config.config .config, remember so we're going to change this to config.config .config. you can set your cpus if you want you don't have to you don't have to change this but we're just i'm just going to leave it default title this is fine leave that there this is all fine right here all the rest of this you can leave unless you just want to change it for some reason so now we got all those changed um, there's a couple things we need to add for some reason that wasn't included. So right here, where it's actually starting the server itself, there's not a profiles. I don't know why there's not a profiles, but we're going to add that. So what you do is you put in a dollar symbol, no, uh, percent symbol, excuse me, profiles, dollar symbol, oops, go. That should do it. And this is a lot. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually upload these files 
this config file that we made, this DayZ start bat file that we made. Make sure you file save when you're done, by the way. I'm going to actually upload all these to our website. Let's do it that way. I think that would be way easier. So, All right, so just go to matureMindedGamers.com. Link will be in the video description. You'll see our website here. You want to come up to the top here. Do please make sure you are subscribed and following us on YouTube and Twitch. If possible, that, that supports us, helps us keep going. The files that you want, though, is actually located right here where it says Dedicated Server Files. You want to click on the Downloads button. And it's going to take you to some of my server files. The one you're looking for is the Daisy zip, which has all the files. And it should download it for you in a zip folder, and inside you will find the, full, the files. Then you'll have these files. Then all you're going to have to do once you have the files is modify it for your server installation. So you're going to need to change the server location right here. Obviously, the name is going to be different. You don't want to copy our name. And then your passwords, you're going to want to change. Whatever port you make it, you're going to want to set that. But everything else should, should be okay for you, I believe. So there we go. That'll make things easy. All right, you know what? We still haven't checked if this baby's working yet. So once you're back, you got my files in. And by the way, you got to put the files in the folder where the daisy server.x64.exe is, okay? Put them all in here to keep them all together. I, I, my, my dot bat will, will actually call, call it because it has the location list here. But a lot of times when I make my dot bats, I don't specify them to a location. So they have to be in the folder. So just, just keep them in the folder to make it all work right, in my opinion. Let's see if this thing works, though. So now to get the server running, you need to double click on your daisy. Oh, look at that. I put, <laughs> I put an extra Z in there. That's funny. Anyways, let's see if it works. So now it's waiting. Okay, this popped up. So this is a Windows Defender. This means that the server is trying to run. Windows Defender wants to know if we want to allow it. So we want to allow it if we want people to be able to connect to our server. So you want to hit allow. That pops up. So if I would have preset this on the Windows firewall, if I would have opened the ports ahead of time, we probably wouldn't have saw that. But this is going to actually open it for us, save us a little bit of time, which is nice. Okay, um, so if you come down to the bottom, you'll see a little icon right here, the console. We want to click on this. Whoops, closed it. Why is it all, why is it all texted? There you go. So if you want to open it up, you can see, it. Is it working? It, it is working. It's spawn thing. See it right here? So if you scroll up to the very top, you'll see where it started. And you'll see how it's loading. So this is good that it's loading stuff. It means it's working. So we are good. Let's, uh, let's see if we can see the server now. All right, then you just need to go to servers here, and obviously ours is a local area network connection. Um, if it's not, you can do a couple things. If your ports are open correctly, your friends can join through a direct connection. If you want to give them the server name um, or the uh, the address right here, and then if there's a password in the port, you can do it that way. Um, but here's our server right here in the LAN, and it should show up the same for everyone. And then you just hit the Join button here. And you should load in. You should be good to go. And there's your own DayZ server. So there is a lot to DayZ, and there's a lot of mods and stuff. I don't do mods myself because I always, I'm always chasing the mod updates and what's breaking what. So to me, the mods aren't worth it. So if you're looking for mod help, I apologize. Not something I do here on my channel. But hopefully this video helped you get started and create your own server, and then you can go on and you know advance your server from here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Help us keep growing the community, and have yourself a great day.